Fora TV. The world is thinking. Now let me end by just talking about the, uh, the Republican coalition with which I was very closely involved. I thought by the time I got into analyzing what had happened that it was an unstable coalition in terms of its religious makeup. That the Republican Party had historically been the party of a more sedate Northern Protestantism, mainline Protestantism. And this was an overload that probably its, its northern constituents didn't fully appreciate. I certainly hadn't appreciated it uh, even during the 1980s when it was starting to take place. And it seemed by 2006 as all these issues, whether it was stem cell or evolution or you know, drugs or women's rights or gay rights or just really anything having to do with the interface of science and morality or science and medicine, science and drug policy. Uh, all of these were, Shivo obviously down in Florida, all of these were starting to play havoc with the Republican coalition in the sense of the old Republican coalition. The, the more moderate northern Christian voters who weren't part of the evangelical fundamentalist or Pentecostal movement. And sure enough, in, in uh, November of 2006, you had a lot of races in which all of this was front and center. And the most important were in Ohio and Pennsylvania, two absolutely vital uh, presidential election states. And you all remember Ohio from the 2004 election. Bush carried it, but not by much. Well, in the 2006 gubernatorial election in Ohio, the Republican candidate was a flat-out religious rights supporter who was in league with all the different uh, uh, groups of pastors and religious right organizations. Got absolutely smashed, 60-40. I looked at this election in great detail right next door in Pennsylvania, where a number of the, the cases uh, have come very much to the fore. Uh, for example, evolution and so-called uh, intelligent design was knocked out by a Republican district judge in Pennsylvania, and the Democrats were making all these issues, pushing them to the forefront. Incumbent Republican senator, very strongly supportive of the religious right, was beaten 60-40. Now, if those two states go Democratic in, in, in the 2008 presidential election, Republicans don't have a prayer. They don't have a prayer. Just to use perhaps an ill-advised term. <laughs> um, one of my uh, old friends who was a leader of the religious right and who's you know, as long in the tooth as I am now, so he doesn't do too much anymore, but he said, uh, uh, be a real test if the uh, whether, you know, God is a Republican because for the Republicans to win in, in November 2006 would, uh, uh, you know, take a miracle. And, you know, if he, he told it better than I did. But the long and the short of it was that if, if they thought that God was a Republican, uh, if they didn't get the miracle, that would prove that he wasn't and they didn't get the miracle. Um, all of this is big stuff. Big, big stuff. You can go through state after state. I mean, for example, in South Dakota, which had a very important uh, uh, abortion statewide ballot issue, and that was a far-reaching one. It was beaten. Uh, and it was, it was beaten uh, not by a huge, by 55-45, but the thing that was very surprising was that in South Dakota, uh, they put an anti-gay marriage ballot proposition through, but it only got 52% of the vote. The, the centrist turnout was so high that it, was, it drove it down from what would have been 65% two years earlier. In Arizona, they couldn't even get a, a gay marriage uh, amendment through. It was beaten. And my reading, when all of this stuff was pushed front and center in the elections, it was devastating for the Republicans which makes me think it's going to be difficult for them to raise all these things successfully in, in 2008. My feeling, is, as was mentioned, is that the Republican coalition is really in a lot of ways out of gas and isn't going to uh, be able to win again 
unless you either get the whole terrorist or geopolitical thing revved up again, or the Democrats reach into their bag of incredible talent and you know, come up with another one of these you know, John Kerry's. <laughs> I mean, you just want to pick somebody who's the wrong type of nominee. You get a guy married to a, a billionaire heiress who was in skull and bones and went to Yale. I mean, that's just driving right for the heart of middle America. You, know? <laughs> you see that working in Bakersfield. Um, so that's, that's the, my conclusion here. All of this is out there. I think the religious right part, they're in trouble. They may be able to build back in, but right now they're in big trouble. And I think the Republican coalition is going to be very hard pressed to hold on. And, but you can fairly ask, you know, he's going to be in there for another year and a half. What can happen? I don't entirely want to think about it either. So I'll stop on that note. Thank you. <laughs> um.